what's up guys, it's Bo here again. And uh, in this entry, I want to talk to you guys about personal development, right? Um, I wanted to talk about this, this topic because it's relevant to me right now, and it's also relevant to a lot of people who are undergoing this journey currently. Um, personal development is, uh, is a multifaceted pursuit. But many of us going into personal development, we have this, we start off and we, we kind of develop in our areas of strength, right? And we kind of go in that direction for a while, but then we, we, we get stuck, right? It's still bright. We get stuck and um, we wonder why, right? And basically, like I said, personal development is a multifaceted thing, right? There is, in my mind, I've basically separated out personal development into kind of two areas there's what i call practical development and there's what i call conscious development right and uh to briefly define them uh, practical development is everything to do with physical reality you know improving yourself physically so it can be learning to make money learning to be healthy learning to be good with, in relationships finding relationships like you know that are good um Developing your own style, you know, developing skills, tangible skills, you know, these kinds of things. Um, yeah, so all of this is practical development. And then there's conscious development, which is more kind of the, the development of ideas, perspectives, spirituality. All of the things that I've talked about previously, you know, that, that kind of falls more in the realm of, well, in terms of ideas and you know, things like that, that's more kind of conscious development. So there are these two areas. And the pitfall that many people fall into is that um, you, you belong in one camp and you kind of get stuck in one camp of, of those two. And you kind of, you, you kind of stagnate um, for a while until you realize that you know, there's the, the other component that you've been ne uh, neglecting, like your weakness area. So, you know, so ultimately, um, there are the people who are more kind of physically oriented. So, um, in an MBTI sense, uh, which I just did a video about, um, mm -hmm. You know, the, the people who are kind of more sensing and also thinking, although that it's more kind of sensing. So people who are more sensing, uh, they tend to do better at the practical stuff. So they're more doing, they like to do more. So they get started, you know, making more money, you know, get like meeting more people, uh, developing skills, you know. But then they reach a dead end where it's like they're doing, doing more of what they've been doing isn't helping them. Like they're getting stuck. They're getting stuck doing things that don't fulfill them, basically. That's one camp of people. The other camp of people is the people who are more intellectual, who are more kind of spiritual, more stuck in their heads, like myself. Um, they, they start off having all of these crazy ideas and like, oh my God, my life was a lie. And like, oh my God, I can do all these things now. And I can perceive reality in, this, in these different ways. And I've got all these different ideas to like improve... Um, society and stuff like that and, and to just to view reality differently and you you kind of map out all of these amazing ideas but then eventually you reach a point where it's like shit like I, i'm i'm kind of i have no money <laughs> i have no money i don't like i'm a loner um you know uh yeah i don't have any friends um i don't no one is really i'm not really no one is really listening to my ideas like i don't have an audience to spread my ideas to and you kind of get stuck and with like not being able to do anything, right? So that's the other camp of people. And what you need to do in that situation, which is where many people get stuck and potentially quit, is to recognize your weakness areas and then basically force yourself to take action in those areas, like is what it boils down to. I myself has have, have been doing that recently. Uh, if you've watched any of my previous, previous entries or if you go back to watch any of them, then during that time I was unemployed so it was like I had all of these amazing ideas but like I had no money coming in uh, I was relying on my parents to support me in that in that in that uh, area and like I was kind of tied down because I couldn't do anything because I had no money and it's like, I, like people were like oh I think people also had the perception of me being like kind of jobless and like just sitting at home doing nothing so yeah so I, you know so I had to kind of force myself I had to kind of go out and I got a job and now I'm kind of in a job that's, that's, that's okay, that's decent. So, yeah, and, and that's, that's basically opened up so many 
doors for me. It's like, before I would be like, oh, sh like, who cares? Like, I don't need money. Like, all I need is, is my ideas and like, you know, I'm set, you know. Uh, yeah, but, but, but then like, after I started to earn money and started, you know, I forced myself to go and get a job. It's like, actually, you know, this area of development that I've, I've been ignoring because I was weak at it. You know, it's actually, it's actually, it's going to help me in the long run, you know. And I started to see the, in, the interconnectedness, the connection between those two areas, practical development and conscious development. Like, they're not, they're not exclusive of one another. Like, you, like, you can't have one without the other without the other kind of stagnating. They both feed towards the same thing, which is your overall development as a person. Right. So, yeah. So basically my advice in this video, um, in this vlog is for you to, if you're stuck, then it's time for you to look at your weakness areas. So if you're someone who's doing a lot, but then now you're, you're at a point where like you're doing a lot, but you're not being fulfilled or it's not, re it's not inching you towards what you truly want, then you need to sit down, slow down, uh, stop doing and to sit down and think, you know, think, think about where you're headed. Think about what you what you actually need to be doing as opposed to just doing more. Like what is going to what do I need to be more selective about in terms of how I act that will inch me to closer towards my goals, like my actual goals that I actually care about. And then if you're a more heady person, a more ideas kind of a person, you need to stop thinking, stop daydreaming, and get out there and do something, right? If you're poor, you need to get a job or some form of income. Uh yeah, and just get out there, meet people, you know, find avenues uh, through which you can spread your ideas, uh, spread your message, because otherwise you're just going to be there and no, like, just, and you, it's just you and your ideas. No one else is going to listen to them because you're not putting them out there. So cool. Yeah, that's really all I wanted to, uh, to say in this entry. You know, if you're stuck, then you need to, you need to recognize where you've been neglecting you know, which area you've been ne neglecting, and then you need to force yourself to take action on that. So cool. Uh, those two things are not exclusive. They are the same thing. You know, what what is going to earn you more more money is also going to help you with, with, like, with the way that you perceive your reality, with your ideas. You, and uh, what what makes good ideas is going to help you make a lot of, uh, a lot of good money. So they're the same thing, you know. They seem different, but they're the same thing. So cool. That's my message for this vlog entry, and I hope that's been helpful. See you next time.